Happy Tuesday, Kipsters. If you did not watch yesterday's YouTube videos, make sure you go back to watch them. What we're going to work on today is our special symbols we use to show when something is greater than, less than, or equal to. We're going to watch a quick video to remind us all about these symbols. Swamp, sneak up on numbers and start to chomp. Whenever two numbers sat on the ground, she'd face the bigger one and gobble it down. When there are two numbers that are the same, the gator changes form and she swaps her name. Because she isn't sure exactly how to dine, she stands right in the middle as an equal sign. Number gators like to eat what's greater, they turn their backs on what is less. Their mouths open wide for the bigger side, and they munch down the whole great mess. Kipsters, I have two numbers here shown in place value charts. Which number is greater? Hmm, I have 150. Which one is greater? A hundred. I know it's greater because ten tens, like I see in the tens place, ten tens is bigger or greater than just five groups of ten and fifty. A hundred is greater than fifty. But now I have to figure out which of these symbols should I circle? Which of these will show me that a hundred is greater than fifty? I remember that just like in our video, that we just saw the open side is a hungry alligator's mouth that eats the bigger number. So we want the mouth to be open towards the biggest number. So we want to use that symbol that has the mouth open towards 100. So just like this. We're thinking every which of these symbols it is that we're going to use. So the symbol we would use is the one that shows me 100 is greater than 50. So this is my greater than symbol. Let's remind ourselves one more time what these symbols mean. Remember this symbol, the red one, is the greater than symbol. The next symbol, the purple one, is our less than. So if I say 50 is less than 100, I would use that symbol. The last symbol, the equal sign, tells us that the two numbers that we have are the same total. So if I had 50 here and 50 here, I would put the equal sign. 50 is equal to 50. Let's try to compare 62 and 80. Which of these symbols on the screen should I use? Hmm, remember, the alligator wants to open its mouth towards the greater or biggest number. Hmm, so where is the biggest number? Is 62 greater or bigger than 80? Nope, 62 is smaller or less than. We should use the symbol that shows us less than. Which of these symbols shows us less than? Hmm. Yeah, we should use this symbol. Our less than symbol. We want the mouth to point away from 62 and point toward our greater number. So this tells me 62 is less than 80. So again, this is our less than symbol. Let's now compare these amounts. Eight tens and two ones and then we have seven tens and five ones. I already drew them out to help me compare which of these symbols to use. But first I'm gonna decide which of these amounts is greater or bigger. That way I know where the alligator's mouth needs to be open towards. I look at my eight tens and two ones, and then I look at my seven tens and five ones, I'm noticing, Kipsters, that one of these is greater or bigger. Which one is it? Hmm. If I look over here, I see I have one more group of 10 than on this side. This tells me that this amount, 8 tenths and 2 ones, is greater than 7 tenths and 5 ones. So which of these symbols should I use? Which one will show me that this amount is greater? 
yep, I should use this one. I want the mouth to be open towards this side. So our symbol here says eight tenths and two ones is greater than seven tenths and five one. All right, Kipsters, get ready to help decide which of these symbols we're going to use to help us solve these problems. So we're going to compare first 35 and 42, letter A. So if I have 35 and 42, which of these symbols am I going to use? Hmm, this first number here I have to think about. Is it greater than or less than 42? Let's see. You're right, 35 is a smaller number, it's less than. So think about which of these symbols will show me 35 is less or smaller than 42. Yep, this one. See how the alligator's mouth is open towards the bigger number. This says 35 is less than 42. Let's do the next one. It says 78 and 80. In your brain, think about which symbol you're going to use. Hmm. Yes, it's this one again, our less than symbol. 78 is less than 80. Let's do letter C. Think in your brain, what symbol for letter C? 100, we're comparing to the number 99. Which one is greater? Or another way to say, which one is bigger? A hundred. So we're going to use our greater than symbol. A hundred is greater than 99. And now let's do letter D. Letter D looks a little different, but we can still figure it out. We have 93 and we're comparing it to eight tens and three ones. The other day we talked about our place value and I know that this tells me that there are nine tens and three ones. So on both sides, we have the same number of ones, but here we only have eight tens and here we have nine tens. Nine is definitely a greater or bigger number than eight. So I'm going to use my greater than symbol. Let's see for letter E. Letter E says nine tens and eight ones, and then we have 10 tens. Think about what number we have when we say eight tens and eight ones. What number is that? Hmm, it's 98. Another way to say that is 98. What number do we have when we say 10 tens? We have 100. So which symbol should I use? Should I use my less than symbol or my greater than symbol? Hmm, yep, my less than symbol. So it says 98 is less, meaning it's smaller than 100. And now our last one. We have six tens and two ones, and two tens and six ones. If I think about how many tens there are in the first one where it says six tens and two ones. And then I look at my other side where it says two tens and six ones. Pictures, I'm thinking that six groups of 10 is bigger or greater than two tens. So what symbol can I use to show that this amount or this total is bigger or greater? I'm gonna use my greater than symbol. Six tens is greater than two ones, or two tens and six ones. All right, Kipsters, thank you for helping me solve all of these problems. For your exit ticket, you have two problems to compare. You have letter A, 36, and then you're comparing to six tens and three ones. You have to decide which symbol you want to use. And remember, for letter A and for letter B, Think about where the alligator's mouth wants to be open towards. I'll see you tomorrow, Kipsters.